This video will focus on the modifying a sketch. It should be viewed once you have watched the sketch infusion within the playlist. A lot of sketch drawings will need to be further modified. The video will focus on the following modified tools displayed on the screen now. The template is available in the video description to save you time. Otherwise, create a new document and undertake the same tasks. I'll go through the function of each tool quite quickly, so feel free to pause the video, explore the function of the tool before proceeding so you become more familiar with these different tools. First of all, we're going to look at uh, mirror, circular pattern and rectangular pattern. These can be sourced under the create tab down here. The other tools that we're going to be looking at, they're all going to be available under the modify tab. Please zoom into the mirror tool. And now we're going to go through and edit the original sketch. So we're saving time. So I've right clicked on down the bottom there, selected edit sketch. Rotate the screen around. So a mirror is a helpful way of creating a mirror duplicate. You need to specify the profile and the line that it's going to be duplicating from. So it's going to recognize that distance and the orientation that you want to be duplicating. So I create, mirror, select the objects or the outline, the profile, and select the mirror line. Once you've selected OK, notice that symmetry constraints have now been applied. Next up, we've got the circular pattern. To create this, you need to have a profile or a sketch along with a, a point that it's going to be creating the circle uh, based upon that, that center point or that radius point. So create circular pattern, select the objects of the outline, the center point be selecting and it will create a preview where you can specify the default will be full. You can specify a specific angle or it being symmetry, but we're going to look at full. And you can use a slider to create more. And you can also create a suppression of certain uh, sketched um, duplicates. Select OK when you're happy with the end result. Rectangular pattern is to create rectangular pattern, selecting the objects, and then specifying the direction. I tend to like just to use a slider. It can be going out in different orientations, and you can also be specifying if it's in one direction or if it's symmetry. The distance that's stated, that's from the midpoints of each design. And once again, suppression can be applied to each view. Select OK when you're happy with the end result there. Now we might zoom out. And now we're going to look at the fillet, chamfer, trim, break, and extend functions. So zooming in. These are all available under the modifier tab. And so first of all, we're going to start off is with the fillets. This is used to apply a curve to a, uh, a corner uh, area. So we'll specify, uh, sorry, selecting the uh, corner and then dragging in the radius of that point. So that's the center point. When you complete with that, you can see the original area is still available for if it needs to be trimmed or modified uh, further. Chamfer is the next tool we're going to be looking at. So chamfer is creating a bevel at a corner or vertex um, and specifying the different the this distance. So that can be completed under modify. 
chamfer file. And notice there's three different versions. So there's the equal distance, distance and angle, and two distance. Please select just the equal distance, select the point, and determine the chamfer that you want to apply. Moving down is trim. The hotkey is T. And so it's useful in selecting out different paths and trimming out those paths. Next up we have is break. And so breaks can only be applied where two lines are intersecting. So I'm gonna to go to modify, down to break, and notice it's gonna create a break Upon that line and you can create a break upon that line and so therefore I can then be trimming that small portion of that line as we can see there extend sort of works uh, in the opposite um, way to a, a trim or a break and so it's extending a path to the nearest intersecting point or paths. This is really helpful in joining broken or open paths. So selecting modify, extend, and notice it, it highlights to where it's gonna to extend to. To create that new profile. The last few tools we're gonna to be looking at is the sketch scale. So selecting the outline of the path or the entities and then selecting the midpoint. So modify, sketch scale. Selecting the entities or double click and selecting the point where it's scaling from. One is 100%, so if you wanted it 60%, the size, 0.6 and selecting OK. Offsets is used to create a copy of a specified distance from a selected profile. O is the hotkey, and so to complete an offset, select the outline, specify either the distance here, or using the slide tool, and you can invert it. Last up is the copy move. M is the hotkey. And so you're gonna be going to modify, move copy, selecting what you wanna copy. I tend to find the move type being the free move is the best. You can specify the distances and angles and then move it accordingly or I'll cancel that, try again. To create a copy, selecting the profile and then selecting create copy. That's the modifier within the sketch um, workspace. Thanks for watching.